right, you guys. Shalom and good, good day to you all. The Heavenly Father, give us the messages on love that we need to have. Please give us the messages on love that you want us to know at this time. Give us the messages on love that you want us to have at this time. Ooh, give us the love that you give us the messages on love that you want us to have at this time. Give us the messages. Ooh. <laughs> now somebody will be like, read the whole deck, sis. I'm just playing. Anyway, <laughs> give us the messages on love that you need us to have at this time. Give us the messages on love that you need us to have at this time. Anyway. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So far, we've only been doing threes and fours. We've been doing threes and fours today with the cards. So, let's see. I think I'm going to leave it at that. The fourth card will be the one here. So, the overall energy of this spread says this could be the one. Ooh, this could be the one. I'm going to tell you now that directly the energy for me was this is somebody that we already are presently with for some. And this is, in fact, someone new that maybe we just met or we're about to meet. And yeah, it's saying this could be the one. But even more importantly, again, I said this is the overall energy. So this will come back up again because I feel I heard a spirit just say something dealing with one of the cards that is here. But let me go ahead and hop in. First card that came out said that you deserve love, my brother. You deserve love, my sister. I feel like this is going to deal with some type of some type of Sagittarian energy. Um, and the only reason why I say that is because this is a girl with a bow and arrow. I also will say that maybe this can deal with some type of... So I'll say that this could deal with fire signs and water signs. Even earth signs and air signs. So everybody is represented to me in this card. I'm about to explain why. So you've got water here. You've got earth with the rocks and even just grass and the greenery and background and all that. And then you've got the sky, which to me deals with air. You've got the Sagittarian here with this energy. But I'm going to say that they deal with all fire signs. So that's why I said all energy could be represented here today. I also feel like this is something divine with the angels in the background. This is something divine. This is a message that the divine needs you to understand. All of us deserve love. Every one of us. All right. Now, I feel like maybe with the card that followed, we may have needed to be reminded that we deserve love because maybe some of us are in separation. Maybe some of us are in separation or we are considering separation because we feel as though we have not been receiving the type of love that we feel we deserve. Okay, so that's two different messages there. Again, you do deserve love. And this is for some people who may have been feeling like maybe all of a sudden I don't deserve it because my person left me and we're still not in union. We are still not together. That's the first message. But you do deserve love just because you're not together doesn't mean you don't deserve love. That's one message. The second one was maybe because you feel as though you are not getting the love that you deserve, you are about to move into separation. So let's talk about you deserve love says you are lovable. Boom. If you ever doubted it for a moment, this is your reminder that no, you in fact are lovable. Flaws and all. Now, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It's on the horizon. So, yeah. Again, like I said, I still think those two messages apply. That some of you are already in separation from your partner. Okay? And some of you, you're about to get ready to do that. Okay. Um... I don't know if this message is connected, but I'm just going to read it as if it is. And I'm going to read it separately with this card. I feel like the separation is going to have to make it's going to have to happen because of true love. Somehow true love is somehow affecting this. OK, give me a moment, guys. OK, you guys, I'm so sorry. I am back. That was my husband, my poop is not calling. And, um, yeah, so I was on the true love card and I was saying 
that I was going to read it in two different ways. I was going to read it as if um, it was connected to the separation card and as a standalone. And basically, I was saying that some of you guys um, were going, getting ready to either go into separation or you were already separated from your true love. So that's two different things. First wave. Some of you are already separated from your true love. Okay. And then for the second understanding of the cards, I was going to say that some of you guys are going to separate for the purpose of realizing that, um, you know, this is your true love. Sometimes we need that. I don't know about anybody else, but I, and I have to say this right now because uh, I do feel very led to say it. But sometimes you do have to separate from someone you know, in order to see how much they really mean to you. And I know that sounds so cliche because that's where the whole absence makes the heart grow fonder um, phrase comes from. But sometimes that's really true. Uh, people, here go another cliche. People don't miss the water until the well run dry. So people do not sometimes really know the full extent and the depth of how much you mean to them sometimes until they have to be without you. And for some people, this could be what's about to happen to you. Like your true love could be getting ready to separate from you. Here's more. Now, this is more because this is something that is coming from situations that I myself am personally experiencing. But I'm pretty sure that somebody else in the world somewhere could be going through the same thing, too. And that is this. Like, <sighs> You may not be able, like there may be some things going on with between your true love and yourself that it's going to cause y'all to separate because there's some unhealed situations that are going on. Your spouse is not, not, uh, maybe it could be a spouse, I guess it could be a spouse. And maybe that's the reason why that was, that came out too. It could be a spouse or just a significant other, a partner where, and I'm not talking about a partner as in maybe a homosexual union. I just mean maybe you guys don't consider yourself husband and wife or something. You just call yourself something else or nothing at all. My point is, is that there are some things that you guys are having to find out first about yourselves that is really kind of hard for you to do together. It's really, really hard for y'all to do together because right now y'all are mirrors and y'all just seem to be pointing at each other like, no, it's you. And then the other person's like, no, it's you. And then it's like, okay, I love you, but no, it's you. And da, 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 I love you. Okay, no, it's you. You keep going through these same cycles over and over again. Some of you has been very soon and early on in your relationship. And for others, it's been long and drawn out. And y'all need this break. You need this break to heal and work on yourselves. And so that you can truly realize how much you really love this person. So this card says, this is the rom the romance of a lifetime. And I think that some of you guys know it. And so for those who are, for those out of the couple <laughs> who are knowing that they have to enter into separation and it could be bittersweet for you, you already understand that this is probably your person. Like, you're my man or you're my woman, but I, I know that we have to separate right now. And it's like, maybe, maybe fear at some point, Ooh, <laughs> bless me, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but anyway, maybe for some of you guys, there was a fear, like you wanted to prohibit this separation. Maybe you've been hearing separation and you just have been trying to ignore it because you were afraid of it. Maybe you were afraid that your partner would just move on without you and just forget about you. And maybe that was part of why you did not want to go ahead and separate. For some of you, you just didn't want to leave because this is how you feel. Like, no, this is everything. Like I've, I've learned so much. I've grown so much. And though you bother me, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want you to get your shit together. I just want you to change or what have you, or I just need to change or whatever. I need to get my life together. Um, so I, I wanted, what I'm saying that to say is that I'm pretty sure that some of you guys know that this is a love that is for a lifetime, but you also are aware that you got to separate. And so some of you may have been operating in fear about this and others of you are like, come on, bring it on. Let's separate because I already know we finna be together. Okay. So anyways, um, yeah, the overall energy was talking about you already met the person that, um, it says you've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So I really feel like this kind of deals with the whole separation issue too. Like y'all have been together. You met for the time being, you got together. Y'all didn't, it happened kind of sudden. 
Y'all been going through some rocky stuff. Some things have been coming out. Some issues have been coming up and out for you guys. And now you're just like, okay, I'm over it and I'm ready to separate. And it's because you know that you deserve love, right? But it could also be that you could be thinking that it's outside when truly it's already here. It's just maybe that person needs to clear their energy. They need to heal. They need to see what life is like without you. So thus they need to go into separation so that they can begin to heal and they can begin to choose. Okay, I'm not going to op operate in this low vibration or these low vibrations anymore of fear and of feeling the need to control everything because I'm scared of being hurt or whatever, or this need of feeling like I have the idea in my head about the type of ro romance that I want. Now, when they lose you because of the separation or they are away from you it may feel like a loss but they're away from you for a time it's going to awaken the fact that oh my god i don't want to be without this person so i would much rather rise up to love i'd rather raise my vibration than to remain in this energy that is causing the separation that's a lot i'm gonna shut up though <laughs> i'm gonna shut up and then right behind it says freaking new love I normally don't do this. This is probably the second time I've done this before where I go behind the um, the overall energy card to see more. But it says new love. And I'm going to tell you now. Okay, I'm going to read the both ways that I feel that this could be. This could truly be a new love for some of you guys who know you deserve love and you separate from a person that wasn't maybe giving it to you and you realized it. And then you move on to your true love, which could be a new love. The other message and the other way that I truly feel this is that you understand you deserve love. You go into separation from the person who really is your true love. Okay, because of the overall energy of you've already met the partner that you seek. But what happens is, is in the separation, they recognize that you're their true love and that they choose you above anybody else, even themselves. And then you guys begin to have a new love with each other so here's what this card says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and this person will be new why will they be new because they're going to come back with issues that were causing and that led to your separation they're going to come back with those resolved even if it's like they didn't deal with them as far as to say i want to throw all these feelings in the trash like i love this person so much fuck fear Excuse my French, y'all. Excuse it. But F fear. Let me go ahead and say it because I already said it. Fuck fear. Fuck my control issues. Um, fuck my ideas about the way I feel that it should or shouldn't be. Fuck my expectations. I want my true love. I'm about to change. And they do that. And when they come back, they are the romantic partner that you met before, but they also are now the romantic partner that you always sought. They come bringing the love you always knew you deserved. And from there, you guys are going to be getting to know each other. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I feel like this could also be this, what Spirit just gave me is that one of the issues that caused your separation was that you could tell that the person was not letting you in. My gosh, you could tell that they had these emotional barriers up. <sighs> Hallelujah. You could tell that they did not know how to let it down. And so you felt like you didn't know nothing about them, but they can know everything there was to know about you. They knew you because you were an open book. This is for some of y'all. Maybe this could have been both of y'all's energy. Y'all both had some guards up and shit. And now this time around though, y'all going to be like, mm -mm, we're going to learn. I want to get to know you. Like I know the first time around I was guarded and I know the first time around I had some stuff going on that caused me not to be able to see you for who you were to me, which is my true love. I know that some things that I was dealing with caused me not to give you the type of love that you actually deserved, but I'm back now. I'm new. I'm a brand new my I'm a brand new me and I want you to get to know me and I want to really get to know you before what was happening was from the places that they were from the places those low vibrating places that actually caused the separation or caused you to even think about separating from him in the first place that's 
what their ideals were. That's what they were hiding behind. And so they weren't able to give you the type of love that you kept trying to say, no, this is what we're supposed to have. And this is what I know that I'm not wrong or I'm not crazy for expecting this love right here. I am supposed to have that. They made you feel like you didn't, like you was talking some crazy shit or like you didn't deserve what you were asking for. Like, oh, you got to come up to this level first before I give it to you. And that's what ultimately led to y'all separation. But then boom, uh-uh. Like, and on top of that, they didn't get to know you and give you the type of love that you deserved because of their issues that led to the separation. So because they were scared and fearful, they had this ideal in their head that only worked in their brain. Okay. And they didn't see you for who you really were. They never got to know you because they wanted you to come up to these expectations and these ideas and ideals that they have of what a wife is supposed to be, or that they have of what a girlfriend or a husband or a, 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 a boyfriend are supposed to have. So they never really got to know you. That's what spirit gave me for that. And then right after that, guys, it says that religious factors and it says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So for some of you, this was a hindrance. This was also part of what led to the separation. For others, this is part of what led to the separation, but in a different way. Like this was divinely done. Like you needed to go through this separation. In order to maybe, um, to maybe drop them. And for some, your religious affiliations and beliefs and your path, your spiritual path is what brought you two together. It's how you got here. It's how you met one another and you was wondering, was this the one or not? But spirit just said, y'all are going from religion to spirit. You're going from religion to spirit. You're going from religion to spirit. And I'm not saying that religion is totally bad. I don't believe it. I believe that religion is like a guide. It leads us until we become more confident in our, in our own spiritual connection. It leads us until then. For some people, it totally rules and dominates them. But hey, we can't be concerned about them. For some of you guys, spirit just said to me that you are going to go from religious beliefs to a spiritual path together this is beautiful guys oh and right after that it's heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other again because the person was fearful of so many different things maybe even because they didn't know how to express themselves in love because that was an issue that was hindering they didn't experience that. They told you that already, you know, but sh you ain't know how deep and true it was. God, you didn't know. And it looks like, just like in this card, the woman is the leader in this. The woman is the leader. That man looks like, oh Lord, she's all in my face and she's like, really can see me and she's trying to make me feel and I don't want to feel. He's over here like the Grinch. And it's so funny because the man that I'm with now, who I do consider to be my husband, my spouse, my power, my, my man or whatever, um, he, in my, in my phone right now, he has saved, he is saved as Honey Sugar and Mr. Grinch. And it's like she's leading in the department of love and talking and being open and honest. And he's just like, not here for it. Okay. He's like, nope, no. And it's not like he's wanting to be that way. It's just, he doesn't know how to release and he doesn't know how to open up. We're leading in that. We're teaching them how to do that by doing it. Not by saying this is what you're supposed to do. And this is what you need to do. We're leading by examples. Wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful, guys. Whoo, that's beautiful. I thought this was going to be the end, but we're, we're going some more. I don't know when to stop. It says worth waiting for. Worth waiting for. Worth waiting for. So I think that for some of us who knew the separation was going to have to come and we already knew that we was going to do it because we feel that this is our true love and stuff. We feel like we can go ahead and go into separation and allow this to happen and us work on ourselves while they work on themselves because this is worth waiting for. For some of you guys, this is the energy of your masculine and for some of you, this is the energy of your feminine. 
Or this is the energy of the both of you. You both feel that this union is worth waiting for. And so while one may be hesitant about the separation, they're willing to allow it to happen because look, like, I feel like we got something here. It says divine timing is at work in your life. For some of you guys who have not yet met this person, okay, and for you, it's really going to be a real new person for you or whatever, like, which I, I do think this is only for some of y'all because again, this could be the one already popped up. But again, this could be a reading. Me personally, okay, let me get my thoughts together. Personally, I usually like to read my cards as if it's one continuous story but sometimes i understand that we're talking about different issues within a story and we could also really be talking about different stories in one reading so i don't take that away so that's why i do both what i was about to say anyway was that um i do think that for some of you guys who this is new this is a new union that you're coming into you've been waiting for it You've been waiting to manifest this and you're so happy and divine timing is at work for it. Divine timing is making it happen and you can feel it and you know, like, oh, I'm about to, it's there on the way I can feel them. For some of you guys where this is, there's still divine timing at play at work here. But for some of you guys, you've already met your true love. You've already met the person that you were supposed to be with and you knew it when you met him. Then a separation occurred. And maybe you begin to feel like, oh my God, we wasn't supposed to be together. But then they're coming back. And they're gonna be new. They're gonna be this, they're gonna be them. They're gonna look like themselves and all that. And they're gonna still have traits of them that were supposed to remain. But those that had to leave, those toxic things, those things that caused you to have to be able to go into not be able, but that caused you to have to go into separation in the first place, those will be gone. And that's what's going to make them new. And you are going to feel like this right here, though. You, my Negro, you were worth waiting for. And they're going to feel the way that same way about you. And it's going to come out in your heart to heart conversations. Let's see. Father, is it time to stop yet? They, they see you. They find you profoundly attractive. And I just mean spiritually so. They think you are beautiful in the spirit. Not to mention that, of course, to them, because you're beautiful in the spirit, that's what's going to make you so beautiful physically to them as well. But I do believe that a lot of us are working with some comeliness. Like the Bible says, somebody was comely. That means they was fine. Okay. I do believe that a lot of us are actually fine. Like both people is fine in their own way. But spiritually, I really get heavily that in the spirit, because they've recognized that you are their true love and because they recognized that the things that they were battling that caused and led to the separation um, made them ugly and stuff. And they couldn't really see you for who you were. And now they can like they got a whole new set of eyes with y'all. You are beautiful to them and they can't wait to get back to your tail. Oh my gosh. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. For some of you guys, you know that this is coming, but it hasn't come yet for you. You're a person and you getting back together in your new love and you need to be okay with being where you are right now. Understanding that that is beautiful. At this place, where you are currently now is also beautiful. I don't know really where to put that. I don't, I don't have any more space here. Um... But yeah, guys, I got to keep on going. Spirit say keep going. It says give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So I feel like this is now about to be the energy that's going to happen for those who were in separation and they're coming out. This is now going to be the energy that both of you guys are in when your old person who is now new comes back to you. Y'all going to have y'all going to be on a more spiritual path. Instead of the religious one, the religious one is what brought you together, but y'all going to go spiritual after that. And then you're going to have a heart to heart conversations. You're going to realize this was worth waiting for. The person see you as attractive and fine and comely, both in the spirit and naturally. And then they're going to say, give your relationship a chance. Because honestly, let's be real. After this separation, some of y'all been separated for a really long time, for years, more than just months. Okay. And you're going to be concerned whether or not this union even should be happening again. 
Ooh, I just heard that this is going to happen when some of y'all are in separation from another um, relationship. Maybe a karmic union. That you think is a real union that you're supposed to be in, but you're going to find out, nope. This is the one that you're really supposed to be in and you met this person already too. And so this is why you're going to have these doubts about giving this one a chance because you're going to be like, wait a minute though. I thought me and my ex was going to get back together. No, not you ex, but the other ex that came after you, I thought we was going to get back together. I don't know. I could be speaking my own life here, guys. I don't know that for sure. I don't know if I feel that, but whatever. I'm just saying what's coming. But again, this is going to be the things that are happening in the union that comes back when this person who you already have met before, you were already in union before with them and you guys separated. They realize or you both realize y'all are each other's true love and you guys are going to be brand new coming back to each other. You're going to get to know each other again. You're going to have heart to heart conversations. You're going to realize it was worth waiting for. Y'all both going to be finding each other and you're going to have to be reminded. You're going to actually have to be told to give it another chance. So this is y'all reminder right now. Go ahead and think about it. Give this relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Work on building together. And the last and final card was reconciliation. I'm going to stop here because that's where I'm led to stop. Stop here. Reconciliation will take place. So I'm going to say that this really probably is a whole reconciliation reading. But again, I read for both types of situations. It could be real, real new love. And again, it could really be, which I feel is the more heavier energy, is that there are people who left each other. They had already met. They separated. And they are going to be coming back together. And it's going to be a new love because this is going to be the first time that that person or you or both of you guys are going to actually let each other in and be real with one another. Or maybe one party, because I really heavily feel like somebody, the woman maybe, or whoever was operating in the feminine energy, somebody was more open than the other one. You remember that, uh, where is that picture where I was, this one, heart to heart conversations where I was saying that the lady seemed to be leading in this department and the man was like standoffish and just guarded and he was just not here for it. That's what I think the old, like, I feel like the lady was the lead in this. The lady was the lead here. Whew. And so uh, that also makes me feel like this is really a divine feminine reading a lot. Like this could definitely, I know it includes the divine masculine. So I will always say it's the divine masculine and feminine, but uh, cause we have to be like, there's no me without him and there's no him without me. But I'm just saying is all that this to me is definitely a, a, a 144,000 reading. I, that's the way that I view the twin flame unions as the 144,000 unions. But anyway, I'm going to stop there, but I ain't going to lie, y'all. The overall energy shifted to soulmate. So this could have been a person who was a soulmate for you. This was a person who ignited you at some point in time. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is somebody who you knew there was a divine connection between y'all. You knew it. And y'all still had to leave and separate and all that kind of stuff. That could be who's coming back for some of you guys. Anywho, with that being said, I'm going to leave it at that. This is a lot of cards, y'all. Let me see. I ain't never pulled this many cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to say 13. Let's see what 13 deals with. I'm being led to do this. I do, Y'all, I'm telling you, I know Spirit be doing stuff because um, I don't know nothing like I, I ain't done this before the meaning of 13 as an angel number the combination of one and three is a sign from your angels that you are connected to the ascended masters and their ability to help you manifest your desires so let's just say angel number meanings then let's go ahead and go to that Let's see if we can find a little bit more and then I'm going to let y'all go. I do. I, I will.
the number one um, represents fresh starts and new beginnings. It's usually symbolic of a choice that you'll have to make. One important aspect of this number is that it relates to you and you alone. So whatever the choice or whatever the new beginning, it's going to be you who is responsible for it. While the number one doesn't always represent a major change, in the case of the number 13 angel number, it usually does. We also have the number three. On its own, the number three is represented, representative of optimism. This could be optimism in pretty much any aspect of your life. But we'll see why this is important in relation to the angel number 13 in a moment. The number three also relates to communication and growth. This could mean maturity, but it could also refer to growth in knowledge or ability or even physically growing. We also have the sum of the two, which is the number four. This number is all about patience. So patience and trust or excuse me, patience and trust that you're headed in the right direction. Oh my gosh, what card worth waiting for? Waiting, patience, waiting, patience. Wow. Says the angel number 13, meaning and importance. It says, so we've now seen how each of these numbers energies applies on its own, but as a whole, we can begin to get the full picture. The number 13 meaning can be a little elusive. And when we investigate it, we can begin to see where the superstitions come from. The number 13 meaning isn't representative of bad luck, but it does show that you're going to have some tough times ahead. There will be a sudden change or disruption in your life that you won't be expecting or at least wouldn't be expecting without the signal from your angels. So here y'all go. Here go y'all signal. Something unexpected is about to happen in your romantic life. More than likely with someone from your past. All right. Um, and when I say your, know that I'm referring to myself too. So it says it's important to remember all aspects of this message. Don't worry yourself about the meaning of 13 without taking into account the other factors. Yes, there will be a sudden change in your life, but through patience and optimism, you'll reach the stage where you can make the final choice. Just remember that number one and number 13 both represent a new beginning. So whatever troubles or changes you do go through, just remember that you'll come out on the other side stronger, wiser, and with a fresh start waiting for you. I'm done. I'm done, guys. I'm done. That's the end. The end. We're finished. Good day. I love you guys with the love of the most high. Um, I pray that this resonates with you guys. Leave your comments and everything like that in the comment section, wherever you may find this, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook. Y'all, I just put up all the cards, but that's because that was too many cards. I would, I would, I'm not going to ever get those in the picture. So there's no point, but everybody going to have to watch this one in order to see that. But that was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't even say it enough. All right. I love you guys with the love of the most high. Shalom.